Bonds, Clemens, Schilling are like first ballot slam dunk. 99% of the vote Hall of Famers. They're not in there because the baseball writers don't like them. I mean, Schilling's a dick, but who gives a shit? Schilling, give the ball in October to Kurt Schilling and... You were getting eight innings of three-hit ball. You know, and then what, what do you want me to say? Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens are bigger than life. They're, like, bigger than the game. There's, like, very few players you could be like, well, that guy right there. I mean, Roger Clemens went into Yankee Stadium, like, during the middle of a game in the skybox and announced he was coming back, and the place went nuts. During the middle of a game. It was, like, July. Yeah, I'm coming back for you guys. I mean, like, how can you put the, like, all right, fine, whatever. They're not in the Hall of Fame. Okay, cool. That's the punishment from the baseball writers because they didn't get what they wanted from these guys. They feel like, you know, they're, they're owed something. They want the apology. They want to see the pain. I mean, who cares? Like, Barry Bonds is, all right, fine. You know, he doesn't get a plaque in Cooperstown. Not one dude in Cooperstown, not one plaque in Cooperstown, you can make an argument, is, like, better than Barry Bonds. It's fucking best. Barry Bonds at his best was the best hitter I've ever seen. And I think anybody could say the exact same thing, so... It's tragic that this is how we talk about Barry Bonds, and we're still stuck in the stupid fucking – sorry, the stupid cycle. We're stuck in the stupid cycle with these guys. 